Hey guys, what's up? It's Justin here from Cinema 4D Tuts. Um, this is my third time doing this tutorial. I think that I might have a virus. Um, so I was sitting here doing the tutorial. It's like the last like 30 seconds explaining like what things do. And then my screen just like starts like flashing green and pink. And I can't do anything about it. And I'm like trying to like click and like control, shift, delete, and escape. And just like everything basically and I can't do anything so I have to shut off my computer and turn it back on and now everything's fine <laughs> and then the first time I did the tutorial I did like the whole thing and then skipped one step on accident so basically it's like an hour tutorial <laughs> but it's like actually only five to ten minutes to actually do it so um, anyways I'm just gonna hop right into doing it um, first off uh, just oh yeah this is a thinking particles tutorial by the way if you didn't read the title for some strange reason you just want to watch all of my videos that I make which you should do because you're awesome subscribers but um anyways first go to uh, freehand and go to text just type whatever you want uh, doesn't have to look nice this is just showing you guys how to do shit how to use thinking particles which is a really cool thing by the way um, then extrude nerves just change that to 60 it doesn't matter copy and paste uh, just make the second text say something different um, than the first one and then drag it behind the first text um, and then minimize these and then change uh, what they change the first one to first and then second one to second or whatever you want it doesn't matter that's just to help me uh, like uh, do whatever so uh, go to simulation and then go to thinking particles and then particle geometry and then go back to simulation thinking particles and then thinking particle settings and what you're going to do with this is you have this little screen you just click the all and then drag it into the particle groups down there as long as you still have the particle geometry selected if not then reselect that and then open the settings and do the same thing that I just showed you then you can close that it doesn't matter um, after you do that, go to, uh, well, select particle geometry and then go to tags, Cinema 4D tags, and go all the way down to Expresso. And then you have this, like, little grid thing. Um, after you have the grid open, just right click, go to new node, uh, go to thinking particles, and then go to thinking particle generator, and then go to P, P blurp, or PB lerp, or whatever that is. Uh, just click that. Um, okay and then uh, make sure you have that selected and uh, you can just minimize that for now and oh shit no you can't minimize it <laughs> reopen it oh wow okay uh, make sure you have the two text selected and then click on people and it'll open the settings for it and then just drag these down into the objects so uh, yeah just do that um, and then you can minimize that for now um, and then uh, just click these wait oh yeah okay click the circles twice each to make those disappear for now um, and then while you're still in the p blurb settings uh, click on first the first text that you like the first text object and then change the from to to plus x and plus x to minus x um, that'll just change the path that the particles move um, and then change the count to 1000 and then the thickness to four doesn't really matter three four five it's all the same well not really but just different thicknesses and then do the same exact thing to the second one so select the second text uh, plus x to minus x a thousand and then three or four it doesn't matter um, okay and then now you should have oh wow I completely forgot a huge step um, okay uh, click the P blurb so you still have the settings open and then on your timeline go to the beginning of the timeline and then uh, hold control and then click on animation phase and then drag this to the bot to the end of your timeline however long it is it doesn't matter for now it's just showing you guys how to use it um, and then change this to 100 and control click again so let's see um and let me close Cinema 40 and reopen it. Um sometimes it like 
messes up and doesn't work. Um, oh wow, I did completely forget about something. Um, click on your first text and uh, hit C and then do the same thing with the second one. Okay, now it should work. Okay, there we go. Um, okay, yeah guys, um, I did forget to tell you guys that you have to make it into polygons or editable objects. Um, that's the only way it will work. It won't work with just extrude nerves. Um, so now what you have is just this really cool effect where it takes the text and makes it say what the like front text says. That's basically how you use extrude nerves. I mean, eh, <laughs> how you use thinking particles. Um, this is really useful for a lot of things. Not very many people use it, I don't think, but it can be cool if you know how to use it. And don't do this with text. I don't think it looks very uh, good for like intros and stuff like that. But if you do it with like a sphere or something like that, you can you can just do a lot of stuff with it. So again, guys, I'm just showing you how to use the thinking particles. Um, after I show you like or give you guys the skills to use the thinking particles, after that you should just uh, mess around with them and you know create something on your own um, so like I said don't just do exactly what I do and then have this like shitty text because this is just to show you guys how to do it um, it is a really cool effect though I like how the particles look like hold on um, I think it just looks really cool uh, render it out really quick Um, so yeah, like I was saying guys, it, it's just a really cool effect, um, and if you, uh, learn something from this tutorial, if you learn how to use thinking particles, just make sure to like, favorite, comment the video, um, it really helps me and my channel and my videos grow, um, and for the, uh, for people that are wondering about the Minecraft, I think I'm going to hold off on Minecraft for a little while until I get my new computer, um, it is a bit, a little bit laggy, or a lot bit laggy, <laughs> um, and I'm sure it's not very enjoyable to watch that. So I realized that. So I just decided to stop making Minecraft videos for like a few weeks until I get my new computer. So um, oh yeah, and to the guy who disliked bot did my third live com th day three. Uh, don't really know what to say to you. <laughs> um, you obviously don't know what disliking does because that gives me a view, which then in essence gives me money uh, so just like botting my videos doesn't really do that much so if you're listening to this right now then keep up the good work man you're wasting your time uh, yeah <laughs> so uh, if you like this tutorial uh, like favorite comment guys I may make another one today or I may just upload an animation or I may just upload this um, I'll definitely be bringing out more tutorials for you guys I'm sorry that I've been a little dormant I guess you could say uh, and just uploading Minecraft so I uh, hope you like this tutorial guys and uh, peace